Well, welcome back to our studio. Today I am working on a new commission, and this piece is a snow painting. And when painting snow and my little doorways and, and things, I go ahead and draw my initial sketch as if there's no snow at all. I go ahead and put the whole door in, the whole bench, the pots. That way I keep everything in proportion. The, the snow I come back and will cover the floor and everything. But I want to get my first drawing in of all the architecture and elements. I want to get them in so I know that they're proportionally correct, my perspective is correct. Everything will look a whole lot better when I start covering up with that with snow, which I am going to start doing now. And my sketch is drawn up with a mixture of mud, which is my alizarin crimson plus ultramarine blue, and I make a real thin mix of that by adding liquid, liquid to that. So this is washed on, and I can come back now and start erasing so that I can start putting in where my snow is going to be. So I start erasing my drawing, and this is where the snow is going to be, the snow line will be coming up, kind of builds up in the corners of, of things. And there'll be snow here on the top of this little planter. And I'm going to have some yuccas in here. And the snow kind of builds up in there. And I can just come back and I dip my brush in thinner and then I can just come back and, and erase where that snow is going to be. And that snow kind of dips down. This is a rock wall, so it's, it's rough and so snow catches in the, the rocks. And there's some also some little flowers going to be in here and the snow will also work around them. Then the snow has drifted up into these rocks and it even drifts all the way up into these flowers because they, it builds up on the, the flowers and so those flowers dip down into that snow. So my rock wall is here. And then the snow comes up, drifts up into that wall. There's my wall then, wall in there. Bring up a little higher drift right up here because it collects around that where that bush is. Now we've got the snow coming up in here. Now Jenna, my collector, has asked me to put, she had a, a Doberman pincer called Samantha and Samantha's going to be sitting right in here. I'm not going to worry about Samantha right now. I want to get the rest of my snow in. This snow then kind of drifts up in here around over my bench, up around the, around the legs. And there's going to be some little sage in here and the snow will be drifting up around it. It just comes up in here. Some of those sage will poke through, but I'll, I'll do more of that when I actually paint it. But this is just kind of giving me a feel for what's happening. And the pot, snow drifts up around it and around this cactus here in the corner. I'm bring this a little bit higher up here. Let some of those sawtooth edge of that show, but then let the snow drift up in this corner a little bit. I've already got it on the top of the bench, and there, there's going to be some petunias in here. They don't mind the cold too much, and so they're going to have snow on them. And then in this pot, I'm going to have mums, which also uh, can be snow covered, and, and they'll, they're pretty cold hardy, so they'll be, they'll be in there. The snow is drifting up around. Now, on my vine coming down, I'm going to wash this in with 
some viridian green and magenta. These leaves just, there's lots of greens and magentas in them. And the, you see the foliage underneath. It's not been just a terribly heavy snow. So we'll have, but I'm leaving white where I want my snow to be. And when I come back, this wash-in will be dry. So that'll make it easier to paint. And I clean my brush between my application of the different colors. But I want to kind of get a, a mixture of, just get that feel of the different leaves. And then in here around the trunk, we'll see more of the leaves because the snow's not really getting down into this area a whole lot. I'm going to let it, I'm going to go behind that shutter right now and then I may, when I paint it, I may come back and bring that over the shutter. But anyway, the snow is drifting down. And there'll be spots where the snow collects on on different leaves and stuff, and I can just come back. Now I can't get back really to my pure white canvas because these viridian and magenta pretty well dye the canvas, stain it. But I can kind of just give myself indications of where I'm going to have the snow clumping on there. Then I'm going to have a little straw angel on the door. We want to center that. So we look here, and this side goes back and so my center of the door is right here. So we want our angel centered. And it's going to come out. The waist a minute. So that's where my straw angel is going to be. Again, this is just a sketch. It just gives me an indication, a plan to follow when I start to paint. Now, I'm going to wash in my Chili Restress. And for this, I use a mixture of alizarin crimson plus the liquid. And this I can go back in. Well, I'll first get them in. Start getting them washed in. There's, there's several chili strings hanging up here. You see these all over Santa Fe. They're just really neat. And as they dry, as the chilies dry, they get darker and people come, they pull them off for cooking. And Jack and I, our friends always called us bland and blander, so when we got a chili reaster, it was for decoration only. We did not did not eat peppers. And this design goes on around. This is painting and painted on a gallery wrap canvas and the design goes around the edges. But I'm not going to do that right now. Run out of time, so I my camera only re records 20 minutes at a time and I like to keep the videos short anyway. It's easier for you all to watch them. But I can just, with my clean brush, I clean it with thinner and then wipe it with my tissue. Then I can come back and lift out and get the feel of those individual peppers. I'll come back and paint this, but this gives me just a plan to follow when I start applying the opaque paint. And that also gives me darks and, and lights in there. It, it, it really is very, very helpful. So that's our Chili Restress. This is going to have a cobalt blue door and shutters, and then my window back in there will be more of a darker blue. And then a turquoise bench. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. I also have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of the paintings as I'm working on them. 
The address is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of my video. Thank you so much again for visiting our studio, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.